Anthropic may be the very company to develop a system that we definitively recognize as AGI. And you very well might be the person that talks to it, probably talks to it first. <laughs> well, <laughs> what would the conversation contain? Like, what would be your first question? Well, it depends partly on like the kind of capability level of the model. If you have something that is like capable in the same way that an extremely capable human is, I imagine myself kind of interacting with it the same way that I do with an extremely capable human, with the one difference that I'm probably going to be trying to like probe and understand its behaviors. Um, but in many ways, I'm like, I can then just have like useful conversations with it. You know, so if I'm working on something as part of my research, I can just be like, oh, like, which I already find myself starting to do. You know, if I'm like, oh, I feel like there's this like thing in virtue ethics, I can't quite remember the term, like I'll use the model for things like that. And so I can imagine that being more and more the case where you're just basically interacting with it much more like you would an incredibly smart colleague um, and using it like for the kinds of work that you want to do as if you just had a collaborator who was like, or, you know, the slightly horrifying thing about AI is like, as soon as you have one collaborator, you have a thousand collaborators if you can manage them enough. But what if it's two times the smartest human on earth on that particular discipline? Yeah. I guess you're really good at sort of probing Claude um, in a way that pushes its limits, mm -hmm. understanding where the limits are. Yep. So I guess what would be a question you would ask to be like, yeah, this is AGI. Mm. That's really hard because it feels like in order to, it has to just be a series of questions. Like if there was just one question, like you can train anything to answer one question extremely well. Yeah. Um, in fact, you can probably train it to answer like, you know, 20 questions extremely well. Like how long would you need to be locked in a room <laughs> with an AGI to know this thing is AGI? It's a hard question because part of me is like, all of this just feels continuous. Like if you right. put me in a room for five minutes, I'm like, I just have high error bars, you yeah. know, I'm like, and then it's just like, maybe it's like both the, the probability increases and the error bar decreases. I think things that I can actually probe the edge of human knowledge of. So I think this with philosophy a little bit. Sometimes when I ask the models philosophy questions, I am like, this is a question that I think no one has ever asked. Like it's maybe like right at the edge of like some literature that I know. Um, and the models will just kind of like when they struggle with that, when they struggle to come up with a kind of like novel, like I'm like, I know that there's like a novel argument here because I've just thought of it myself. So maybe that's the thing where I'm like, I've thought of a cool novel argument in this like niche area and I'm going to just like probe you to see if you can come up with it and how much like prompting it takes to get you to come up with it. And I think for some of these like really like uh, right at the edge of human knowledge questions, I'm like, you could not in fact come up with the thing that I came up with. I think if I just took something like that where I like I know a lot about an area and I came up with a novel issue or a novel like solution to a problem and I gave it to a model and it came up with that solution that would be a pretty moving moment for me because I would be like this is a case where no human has ever like it's not and obviously we see these with this with like more kind of like you see novel solutions all the time especially to like easier problems I think people overestimate that you know novelty isn't like is completely different from anything that's ever happened. It's just like, this is, it can be a variant of things that have happened um, and still be novel. But I think, yeah, if I saw like, the the more I were to see like, um, completely like uh, novel work from the models, that that would be like, and this is just going to feel iterative. It's one of those things where it's, mm -hmm. there's never, it's like, you know, people I think want there to be like a moment and I'm like, I don't know. Like, I think that there might just never be a moment. It might just be that there's just like this continuous ramping up. I, I have a sense that there will be things that a model can say that convinces you this is very, it's not like, uh, like I, I've talked to people who are like truly wise. Mm -hmm. Like there's, you could just tell there's a lot of horsepower there. Yep. And if you 10X that, I don't know. I just feel like there's words you could say. Maybe ask it to generate a poem, mm -hmm. and the po and the poem it generates. You're like, yeah, okay, yeah. Whatever you did there, I don't think a human can do that. I think it has to be something that I can verify is like right. actually really good, yeah. though. That's why I think these questions that are like where I'm like, oh, this is like, you know, like, you know, sometimes it's just like I'll come up with say a concrete counterexample to like an argument or something like that. I'm sure like with like it it would be like if you're a mathematician, you had a novel proof, I think, and you just gave it the problem and you saw it 
and you're like, this proof is genuinely novel. Like there's no one has ever done. You actually have to do a lot of things to like come up with this. Um, you know, I had to sit and think about it for months or something. And then if you saw the model successfully do that, I think you would just be like, I can verify that this is correct. It is like a, it is a sign that you have generalized from your training. Like you didn't just see this somewhere because I just came up with it myself and you were able to like replicate that. Um, that's the kind of thing where I'm like, for me, the closer, the more that models like can do things like that, the more I would be like, oh, this is like uh, very real. Because then I can, I don't know, I can like verify that that's like extremely, extremely capable.